What is going on, y'all? It is Far and Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be talking about the top five camps that got submitted to our Discord. So, whether you are a builder, someone looking for tips on building, or someone who just likes to talk about video games, make sure to check the description out below to look for our Discord link. And next week, the top five camps is having a spooky theme. That's right, friends, because of Halloween, we are doing a spooky edition. So, if you have a spooky camp that you'd like to submit to the top five, make sure to look in the description below like we said our discord link will be down there but let's get in here and talk about these top five camps and now kicking it off in the number five spot we have el fuego with their backwood shanty shop and this is such a great looking scrappy build with some really nice merges in it and when the judges and i were talking we all sat around talking about how if you look at this camp you really wouldn't think that it's an older camp that's right friends this was built to years ago and it still holds up out there in the wasteland must have been a pretty good architect put this together to hold up for two years i mean think about it. that's a that's a lot of like rad storms and everything going on but honestly the lighting and the compact design are really well done and like we said there are some great merges with this camp and i love how they designed this camp and it really does fit in with someone building their home after making their way back to appalachia after the bombs fell seriously Seriously, bud, amazing job and keep up the great work. And now in our fourth place spot this week, we have Bustin My Ashley with their Witch's Brew Emporium. And now I love the spooky time of the year. And this camp really does feel like a witch just set up shop in Appalachia. And I absolutely love the immersive feel that this camp has. And Ashley absolutely made some great choices with the lighting on the interior and the exterior. It really helps that out. And as well, I love the merges that they did and really like how they fit everything together in this building. The decorations on the interior feel like everything is where it should be and isn't overdone and that is a hard thing to do from time to time and now a lot of folks look a lot of folks out there in the wasteland will say that prefabs don't belong in the top five but to me and the team if used correctly like in this build they are just another tool for builders to use from their many tools in their arsenal and seriously Ashley amazing job bud and keep up the great Great work. And now in third place this week, we have Merv with their Rustic Rotunda. And this is something that blows my mind with builders in Fallout 76 because of the ability to build like this. This has to be an art form. And the amount of patience that y'all have to use to build something like this, a circle camp, I don't know if I'll ever really be able to pull it off. I'll definitely have to watch some videos and try to figure it out. But the judges talked about how Merv did a great job with everything in this camp and how they really love the fantasy type of a feel that this camp has and personally to me i love the function that this camp has in it because the bottom side is for your resource gathering and the upstairs is your workshop area with some great decorations and i would really love to see this camp for myself because in video format it blows my mind but i can only imagine walking up on this camp out there in the wasteland and just being blown away just i'd have to take a few photos of it and as you can see it is the thumbnail choice that we chose for this video because i absolutely love the creativity in building a camp like this amazing job merv and can't wait to see what else you have planned and now this week in our number two spot we have kova with their old rig out there in grafton and could you imagine having your hud turned off and walking over to the grafton dam and then stumbling upon this build i don't know about you but personally to me i would think that bethesda has done put a another point of interest into Appalachia but this is such a great looking industrial camp and I really love how they put everything together the use of everyday objects to simulate an oil rig is such a fantastic idea there is so much packed into this build that it is going to take you a few watches to notice them all I personally am on watch number three the creativity to put all of this together is so absolutely amazing and like I say this is an art form and and you builders out there in Fallout 76 are absolutely amazing. I mean, y'all, look, they have a crane that is built using conduit and all this, and then the smoke coming from the windmill is such a great touch as well, and there is so much immersion within this camp, and I, again, I would love to see all of these top five camps in person, so look, hey, 
send me a friend request and I will absolutely try my best to come check out all of these camps. But Kova, seriously, amazing job and congrats on the number two spot. And now before we get in here and talk about the number one spot and the honorable mentions, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who entered this week. And as you can see on the screen, we had 12 entries and it means the absolute world to the team and I that y'all are helping keep the top five series alive and kicking And to everyone who submitted who did not make it into the top five. Y'all's camps are absolutely amazing and you should feel proud of what you created. The team and I love going through all of the submissions and admiring the hard work that y'all are putting into these builds and speaking of the team i want to give a huge shout out to moonlight cowboy silver bunny nux stabby and yeah bear for doing so much for the top five series and helping be pillars in the fallout 76 building community and now this week for our first honorable mention we have lanthar with their second addition to the duck pond and there is something so wonderful about this location that they picked to build in and using the iron mountain prefab definitely saved them some budget and i love that they use the majority of this budget on the ducks i don't know what it is as well i like the ducks in fallout 76 and i like ducks in general in life but yeah the decoration of this camp lighting everything is so great absolutely amazing job lanthar and now our next honorable mention is Ewok with their no longer abandoned camp and this is such a great use of the new concrete kit and I love the location that they chose to build this camp and with how this camp was put together and how it was designed it looks like it was really meant to be built into that bridge and like it's just a natural thing and this is such a great looking camp Ewok you did such a great and wonderful job bud keep up the hard work. And now each week we give the judges a chance to show off their build since they don't have the ability to enter into the top five competition for camps. And this week's showcase goes to Silver Bunny with their Scrappy Heights. And this is such a great looking camp. And you know Silver Bunny is known for being a lighting expert and she did such a great job with it. I love watching this video. You should definitely check the video out for yourself to watch it in full because I am on watch number three and I'm loving the choices that they have with the merge and the decorations on the interior and the exterior and now this camp actually comes from a not challenge but silver bunny took it as a challenge moonlight cowboy made a tutorial video because they had built in this location and said hey folks don't try to build in this location it's really hard but here's a tutorial if you would like to try and silver bunny being the crazy builder that they are they took that challenge and a plus from me personally this is a great looking cam and honestly like i said you should go check this video out because the choices that she took while designing this place is really stunning and seriously bunny thanks so much for sharing this camp with us and now taking home the number one spot this week we have the akiras with their old glory camp and if you're wondering why they named that well make sure to check out this video because the answer is right there in it the camp is pretty much built out of these old glory fireplaces and y'all want to know something rare is that all of the judges the entire team decided that this camp was the best camp and now the reason i say that's rare is because we have five judges for the top five camp series and if you've been watching since we took over from tng you will know how rare that is that all five individuals chose the same camp as the number one spot and this camp really deserves it it looks absolutely amazing from the choices with the creative merges i mean look i'm on my fourth watch and i'm still finding a little thing here and there and i think everyone should really check this build out because i don't know how does that conversation go like can somebody in the comment section the curious let me know like, how is it that y'all came up with the bit of, you know, like, conversation between y'all of, like, let's, you know what the old glory chimney set? Can we, can we, can we, can we build something with that fireplace? Let, yeah, let's, let's try it out. Because y'all did such a great job. The lighting, the merges, the decoration. This is such a clean looking camp. And I love the, like, modern feel and the immersive feel. This really does feel like it's meant to be in Appalachia. And from the team and I, thank you so much for sharing this with the community and look seriously if i don't have you on my friends list already shoot me a friend request if you've got the Acuras on your friends list make sure to go check out this camp because i think everyone should either check out the video or if you're on the same system as the Acuras, you should check this camp out seriously thank y'all for sharing this with us absolutely amazing job and keep up the hard work seriously thank y'all 
Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out and let us know in the comment section below what is your favorite camp from the top five series this week. And thank you so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love ya.